Then take the moment to see, think, or hear something in five words or less, or commit to a dominant feeling. This is the part that's going to take a long conversation, but I'm going to try to do it quickly. If you're feeling nervous, use the nervousness. It doesn't always have to be what you've heard, seen, or thought. Like some of the copy I gave you, I finally figured out why Jack in the Box called these the keto. If I was nervous, I might go, oh. I, I finally figured out why Jack in the Box called these taquitos. If I was like, you know, cr you know, like really uh, excited, you know, I, whoa, oh, oh, I finally figured out. He said, use what's there if it's there. But if it isn't there, then hear, see, or think something. Like what happens if you're getting nauseous? Um, I, I finally figured out, you know, you could use it. No one has to know you're nauseous, but it's, it's a feeling. And when you have, huh? It's an energy. It's an, it, thank you. A f and a feeling is an energy. And when you have something that actually is there, use it. That's why I mean commit to the dominant feeling. Allowing it to create a simple, physical, unrehearsed reaction. Because guess what? If you rehearse the reaction, what happens? It's stale. Just like the slate that you kept doing over and over again the same way. It all has to be in the moment. And you know, as an actor, that that's how you would approach an acting audition. OK? Um, all right, this should create, I love this line. It took me three days to write it. I was very selective, but it's, it's a little artsy. This should create the instinctual energy to organically motivate your choices. Just ponder that sentence sometime. That's, as actors, that's what you want to do. OK, trust your instincts and your choices. Connect to how you feel in the moment, commit to it, and then communicate it. It's not about you committing over here. It's about you committing to the person you're talking to or the camera. Right? Okay.